Want to relive the golden era of Super Nintendo gaming on your PC? I've got you covered and I won't waste a moment of your precious time. Let's get started. First things first, fire up your favorite web browser, any modern one will do, and search for SNES 9X Zofar. Click on the first link that appears, which should lead you to zofar.net. You can also find the link in the description box below. Once you're on the site, select the version that matches your system hardware and click on the download button next to it to start the download. By the way, most systems nowadays are 64-bit, so you will likely need the 64-bit version. All right, once the download is complete, locate the setup file and extract it. The file will be in zip format. If your Windows shows that the file is unsupported, you will need to download a program called WinRAR, again, link below, or you can simply Google WinRAR, navigate to their official website and download the free version that aligns with your system either 32-bit or 64-bit, and then use it to extract the file. If you've already managed to extract the file somehow, you can skip this step. Going back to extraction, once the WinRAR is installed, open the file using WinRAR and click on Extract to on the top left, and then choose the location where you want this program to be stored. You can extract it anywhere on your computer. For me, I'll choose to extract it on my computer C drive where Windows is stored. Create a new folder and it will automatically be named. And you are done. Now navigate to this folder where you extracted the files and launch the program. Just a quick pause to tell you if this video has been helpful to you so far, give it a like and consider subscribing for more. Now navigating to this folder every time we want to play is a hassle. So why don't we create a shortcut on the desktop by right clicking on the application then clicking on show more options at the bottom, then send to, and finally desktop create shortcut. This will create a shortcut on the desktop for easier access from now on. Now, before we dive into gaming action, let's configure the controller we're going to use with the emulator. While I'm using a regular gamepad, I highly recommend using a Super Nintendo type controller. You can find these online at various stores like Amazon or Target. So once you've connected your controller, whichever type it may be, head to the top menu and click on Input and then select Input Configuration. You will see a list of all the controller buttons and what you need to do is to assign each control to the corresponding buttons on your controller. To do that, plug in your USB controller into your PC and simply assign the buttons by clicking on the box next to the control label and pressing the concerned button on the controller for that function. Do that to all of the required controls and you are good to go. Now that we're done with all this, it's time to play. I have a game on my computer I downloaded earlier. Let's extract it to the desktop to make things a little easier. You'll be using WinRAR for this as well. Done. Let's close this off and there we go. We have this legendary game right here. Now all we have to do is to click on file in the top menu and choose load game and then navigate to the folder where our Super Nintendo games are located. Select the game you wish to play and click open and the game should launch. Just to tell you if you don't have any games yet, you can try googling the name of the game you wish to download, I'm sure you'll find something. Just remember to only download games you own or have legal access to. After downloading your favorite games, you can finally enjoy those classic Super Nintendo gems on your computer and immerse yourself into the world of retro gaming. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more exciting tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.